dropping it. Good morning and praise God. Praise God. It's just a blessing to always be able to be here on any given Sunday or Wednesday night prayer service. Yeah. We don't I don't take it for granted, none of us really should. Um, I want to talk about wisdom today. How's your wisdom radar? Am I okay? But first and foremost, I'd like to think of myself as a disciple sitting at the feet of our pastor, soaking up every word that he has to deliver to us. Somewhat, I'm somewhat seasoned, I would say. However, there is so much more for me and you to learn. Grow in your spiritual walk. Family, we need to be honest and transparent with ourselves. God gives us free will to choose him or Satan. There is everlasting life in him and a life of hell by choosing the adversary. Amen. It is my prayer and hope that you choose Jesus. Don't look back. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. We may stumble and fall down. Get pushed back some. Get up. Stand up. Repent and continue to move forward. That's life, y'all. It's life. The fear of the Lord, Proverbs 2 and 7 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning. That's a foundation of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. James 1, 5 and 6 states, if you need wisdom, ask God, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you, rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver. For a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. God has a meeting place for you. It's where he will speak to your heart. With just a few words, you can be anywhere doing anything. Wisdom is to have your heart open to receive at all times. Is part of your free will, choosing to consecrate your life to him. Leave no part closed off. Stay connected to the source so that you can be updated to what he wants to say to you, give you, and most of all, guide you. FCC, know who he is to you. Keep him in your heart. He's Alpha and Omega. He's Omnipotent. He's the Great I Am. He's our Savior. He's our Wonderful Counselor. He's Omnipresent. He's the Healer of everything. He's Jehovah Rapha, the King of Kings. He's our Father. Hebrews 13 and 17 states, Obey your spiritual leaders and do what they say. Their work is to watch over your souls and they are accountable to God. Give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow. Amen. Wisdom, yeah. 
Pastor has mentioned to us once before about getting into reading the book of Proverbs. And if I'm not mistaken, that was written by Solomon. Um, early in my life, I started, that's the book I started reading in the Bible because I found it easier to understand than anything else. I'm talking as a young adult, 17, 18, 19 years old, and I'm hitting it out here as a single mother. Proverbs was the only thing I could truly understand, but some of it started sticking to me and making sense. So I would, you know, um, suggest to you all, get in the book of Proverbs and read that to it. It makes a lot of things and when it speaks about she or her, that's it's talking about wisdom. It's talking about the wisdom. So, Pastor, I'm done. Praise God. Thank you all for your listening ear and your open hearts to receive.